In this video, we are going to focus on quadratic inequalities. You will find this on page 26 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Quadratic inequalities. Consider this. This is quadratic due to the square and that's the inequality. Okay. Now, if I factorize... Um, Okay, this is just two different examples. These are called quadratic inequalities. Doesn't matter, it can be factorized or it can just be multiplied out. Quadratic inequalities can be solved by sketching a graph and hence finding, finding the range when the graph is above, bigger or smaller, or bigger, or below the x-axis. So basically, the best way is not to solve it like a linear, but to make use of a graph to find the range because it's not going to be a specific from just one point but it will involve two points okay because it's quadratic now let's look at an example I'm going to just make it bigger first okay Find the range of values um, of x for which this is bigger than 2 so the first thing I, I, I always like quadratic equations. I bring it over to one side. So write the inequality in standard form. Then sketch the graph. So I, I first make it equal so that I can factorize, so that I can make a sketch of the graph. So it's bigger than zero. Now remember, if it's bigger than zero, I'm always referring from ordinary. It's almost like a smiley face. Okay, because that is bigger than zero. Okay. Now, when y is 0, I put 0, I factorize, and I get, I actually, I'm just interested, and let's just make it red, I'm getting this two points, okay? So, as soon as I have this two points, now I look at the inequality, it's bigger or equal, so it's from this point, and can you see the graph goes out? So, if you think of a number line, it will think, I, I color it in, because it's equal, and that will be on my number line. So this is the part I'm going to describe. So the x-intercepts are this. We need to find the range of values of x for which the curve is either zero or positive. That means above the x-axis. On a number line, the solution can be illustrated like this. And if you want to write it just in algebra, you will say x is smaller and equal to negative a half or x is bigger and equal to 2. Okay, now the x-intercepts are included and it's due to the equal sign. Okay, it's not very difficult, but always make use of a sketch if it's a quadratic inequality. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do this too. I think that too will be a good example. Okay, it's all bigger, okay? The next example we will do smaller. Uh, unfortunately, this one is now equal, and this one is not equal, so, oh, okay, let, let's do it rather than like this. Rather do for me number B and number C. The reason why, because this one is bigger, and this is bigger and equal, okay, so that we have both examples. So solve the following quadratic inequalities, also use a number line to illustrate the solution. So let's start with the first one, number B. Okay, now the first thing is, and you can even say it, okay, um, I first can say A, okay, let's just do it like this, A is smaller than zero, so therefore uh, the graph, I'm just going to, it's just to help myself, the graph will be looking like this, keep it in mind. Okay, now I'm first going to make it to sketch the graph. So I don't want to use red. Sketch the graph. negative 5x squared plus 13y plus 6 equals y. Okay, so there I said it's this, so the graph is like this, so okay, let's, let's make say, therefore, maximum point. Okay, 
Now I'm going to save. Um, for the X intercepts, Y is equal to zero. Okay, so it's negative five X squared plus 13 Y plus six, and that's equal to zero. Okay, now it's an equation. I can, just to get um, rid of the negative, I divide by negative the whole way through, or multiply by negative the whole way through, but it's going to be 5x squared minus 13, oh, oh, somewhere the x became a y. It's just got us, thank you, maybe you saw it. Can I just correct it for you? So that was just an x, y, y became a y, that's an x, luckily I picked it up here. Okay, and that's not a positive because I multiply with a negative or divide a negative. And then I factorize. And if I factorize, let's just see it's 3 and 2 and uh, it's in group B. So it's 3 and 2 and 5 and 1. So that's 10. Okay. Let's just see if that is going to, I think, rather 2 and 3. Let's just check, check 2 and 3. That's 15 minus 2 because it's in group B, and that's 13. And the biggest over cross product will get a negative, and then this one will get a positive, and this will be x, x. Okay, and then I will find 5x plus 2. 2 and x minus 3. I hear this thing. Equals 0. So therefore, x, if I put this equals 0, is negative 2 over 5 or x is equal to 3. Now, remember, the sketch is just to help you. So let's just move it up a little bit. Now, if I, and I still like to use an, a ruler. So it's negative 2 over 5, and it's just a sketch, so it's just to help me to find the number line. Okay, that's negative, and say 3 is there. And don't forget the shape of the curve, can you remember? The shape of the curve is like, say, that. Okay, and now I look at the inequality sign. Now what was the inequality sign? Let's just go a little bit down. It's bigger. Bigger. Now, where do I indicate, and I want to use my highlighter, where is, where is it bigger? Let's go for it. It's bigger above, now I'll take another color. It's bigger above the x-axis. Okay, so I'm going to describe, where is it? I'm going to describe this part. Okay, so if I must, and now don't forget, there's not, and actually I should not indicate, make it like that. So on a number line, if I must do it on the number line, can I just get a pin? <laughs> no, no, that's not correct. And I have that. And I have that. So on a number line, I just want to, uh, so this is, and negative 2 over 5, and that's 3, and it's, remember it was not equal, do you see? It's not the equal sign, so it's open, open, and it's this middle part. So, if I have to take a ruler, it's this. Okay, this is on the number line, and if I want to write it in terms of algebra, I just will say, therefore, x I'd like to first, let's just get the x a little bit more in the middle. So x is bigger than negative 2 over 5 and smaller than 3. Okay, and that will be my final solution. Let's do the next one. Not very difficult. It's very good. We, we're going to use it still in other chapters. So it's very, very important that you conquer it in chapter 1 already. It's quadratic inequalities. Usually people try to solve it without a sketch and then they make unnecessary mistakes. If you can do it without a sketch, it's fine. But I'm going to focus on the method with a sketch. Okay, 
Let's just move up and down, up and down. Okay, I have it. Let's see number C. Now this one, and be careful for this one. I want to show this to you. Okay, now they say equal. If there was a zero, you, you could have just go on and you didn't have to do anything. But be careful, there's not a zero. Okay, so that, that is very important that you take note of that. So let's first start by saying, um, I, I like to, okay, first start by first multiplying out. So you will get x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2 minus 4 is bigger than equal to 0. So that will be x squared minus x minus 6 is bigger. Okay, that is actually your starting point. So then you say that this value is positive. Do you see? I actually like to make it blue. It's more for me positive. So a is bigger than 0. So it's like this. Make a sketch that you can see. Then it will be a minimum point. So therefore, me, me, mum point. Very important that you see, oh, it's a smiley, it's like this, but it's, it's reaching a minimum point, although it's bigger than zero. Okay. Now, I'm to sketch the graph, say, sketch, the graph of uh, where am I? x squared minus x minus six is equal to y. Okay. So if I sketch it, then I make the value of x. Um, if I want to find where it cuts the x-axis, I make the value of y zero. So it's going to be x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Then I factorize. It's, it's still subtraction. So it's 3. I'd like to use another color here. It's 3 and 2 and 1 and 1. 3 minus 2, it's 1. The biggest over cross, it's a negative. And this is a positive. And this is x, x. So it's going to be x minus 3 x plus 2 equals 0. So therefore, x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 2. Okay, now don't forget the sketch. Go go up now. Okay, let's just find. I just want to get another color. Why it will work? Okay, it's cutting. And don't forget, it's cutting at negative 2. negative 2 and it's cutting at 3 okay don't forget that the sketch looks like this so if I draw the sketch I can make it blue okay, it's just a rough sketch but now it's bigger and equal so if it's bigger and I'm going to make it red if it's equal I color it in okay but it's okay so where do I highlight so if I want to highlight it's bigger. So bigger is always above the x-axis. Smaller is below. Okay, so basically, if I'm looking at that, it's going to be, get you this pin. It's going to be, and I go to this side. And it's going to be, and I go to this side. Okay, so if I want to do it on the number line, can I just show you on the number line? Just move a little bit. So if this is my number line, and I can just do it like this then. Um, I can just say negative 2. And I can say 3. And don't forget that it's colored in. Oh, now on my pen. Okay, it's colored in, colored in. And then it's, and I think it's better if I put it above the line. Sorry. I, I prefer that we do it rather that you can see it better. And then it's just going to this side. And it's going to this side. That's on the number line. But if you do it in, in writing, then you're just going to say x is um, smaller and equal to negative 2. Or x is bigger and equal to 3. 
And that will be your final answer. Not so difficult. Make sure you do the bigger and that you conquer, conquer this bigger before you go in the next video to the smaller um, and equal or equal inequality sign.